Yes, this is my blankie. Don't make fun of me. I still sleep with my blankie. I don't care if you think that's weird. <laughs> Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and welcome to the start of a brand new reading vlog. Excuse me if you see me throwing a ball because that's all he's wanting me to do at the moment is throwing the ball. What's new? I just got done filming some videos, which is why I'm all makeup up, but I started getting a migraine. It's kind of a, gone away now because sometimes if I read too much or I strain my eyes too much um, with my contacts in, get a migraine and so i'm like reading word for word um summaries on my computer uh for eva calls so after a while those like start to get me migraines so um that's why i have my glasses on today even though i don't really like wearing makeup with my glasses on does anyone else feel like that maybe just me i'm gonna talk about my reading plans for this week so far so yesterday i finished both ruby dicks and ice planet barbarian books that i had on my tbr for the month of may and so now I'm in like the alien romance mood. Like I just want to read that. So I found one on Kindle Unlimited that I really wanted to get to because the cover is beautiful. My iPad will turn on. Never mind, it's dead. <laughs> Let me see what the title is. Let me get to my computer. This one is called Claimed by the Alien King by Aline Ash. I'm pretty sure that's the one. It has like a very uh blue man on the cover with purple hair that looks really good it's only like 170 pages so i can like fly through that book and then this week is my week of rereading a court of mist and fury by sarah j mass with melissa from melissa h once a week in the month of may we will be reading an akatar book we're rereading the series because we feel like it so we're reading that together and i'm so excited we decided to do this together because it's like so much fun. It had been so long since I read Akatar and I finished it a couple days ago and I was like, whoa, I forgot so much in the first book because I've reread this one like 50 bajillion times, but uh, I haven't read book number one all that much because there's a character that I don't really like that's like the main focus of that book. So that's why I hadn't reread it in so long, but I'm so excited for Akamath. It's one of my favorite books of all time. I have listened to the audiobook a bajillion times as well because there was a point when my insomnia was so bad in high school to where I could only fall asleep by listening to that audiobook for like a whole entire year. So anyways, those are my reading plans so far. <laughs> So I've gotten into baking recently and so I wanted to show y'all how I made some cookies this weekend I'm obviously watching Hannah from Snow White Reader. I will link her channel down below I started this recipe off with one cup of peanut butter as seen here <laughs> And then I added a half a cup of sugar a third cup of brown sugar One egg here's me struggling to open up an egg one-handed <laughs> One half tablespoon of baking soda and then you stir that all up together and then you add one cup of milk chocolate chips and then you roll them up in a ball as seen here and then what you're gonna do is that you're going to make a little divot or hole in the center just a little like indent into the cookie and then you're going to grab two or three mini marshmallows and put that in the little divot you made and then you get some extra cookie dough you end up flattening it out and then you just um, place it on top of the cookie to like seal the marshmallow inside that's how you make the chocolate chip peanut butter fluffer and butter cookies that i'm obsessed with at the moment and then you put it in the oven for around 10 minutes at 325 degrees and at the end you have this beautiful masterpiece these are all gluten-free by the way because i have celiac disease so these are amazing cookies Hello. <laughs> it is a Thursday 
It's about to be Friday. It's 11.30 at night. <laughs> yes, this is my blankie. Don't make fun of me. I still sleep with my blankie. I don't care if you think that's weird. Man, I really am not doing good on a reading vlogs recently. Reading update, I got 50% into that alien book. I'll put the cover up because I don't remember the title of it and I don't feel like going to look up the title of it. I got 50% of the way into it and uh, didn't want to pick it up anymore. <laughs> this is like a... Uh, alien romance where these aliens abduct these humans off this spaceship that they're on. Apparently this race is low on females and they're trying to like impregnate. I think they just put like embryos inside of them, put them in cryostasis and then uh, put embryos in them maybe? I don't remember. Um, but like they like capture ships and humans so that they can get the females and put embryos in them so that they can build an army. Like it's kind of weird. And so one of these women, she's not like the other girls on the ship and she actually fights. The captain or the king of the aliens sees her fighting back and wants him for herself. There was an issue with consent, like a huge issue with consent with me. And maybe it would be addressed later on in the book. I don't know, but it didn't seem like it was going to because I stopped the book right after a scene where they willingly were with each other, but they didn't address the fact that before they weren't willingly with each other in a sense and it just like didn't make me feel good at all this girl is like hating them this whole time and then all of a sudden she flips a switch i didn't get it i didn't get it at all i didn't think i was gonna like it and i was getting annoyed by our main character woman and the main character alien dude so i was just annoyed by this book in general so i put it down i started my reread of a court of mist and fury honestly like this couldn't come at a better time i'm supposed to have it done by <laughs> Sunday and it's Thursday and it's a 24 hour long audiobook. <laughs> I went back to my nanny job for the first time in like six months today. I only went for like four hours but I got one of my horrible horrible migraines. That's a side effect of my chronic illness and like it was horrible. It started like an hour or two into me at work and I haven't had one of those migraines in so long long like so long. It would not go away to a point where I ate dinner is not I kept drinking water. I'm a very hydrated person in general, but like I was drinking excessively. I just needed to take some Tylenol. The Tylenol wasn't working. And so I finally at like nine o'clock crawled into bed with my dog, turned all the lights off, put on A Court of Mist and Fury on my audio book and playing Sudoku on my phone for the past three hours. And it is finally gone. A Court of Mist and Fury just uh, saves me in more ways than one. Let's just say that. I'm very grateful for this book. I listened to this book so many times but it's been over a year and i am so grateful i could honestly cry with like how much this book like means to me and how much this book has like made me love reading and how much this book just makes me connect to so many characters oh my gosh i love this book a lot and i'm so glad that i'm reading this series with melissa i'm kind of delirious at the moment um i need to drink some water anyway i'm really tired um i need to edit a video but then I also really just want to keep doing what I'm doing and just sitting in the dark cuddling with my dog behind me and listening to this amazing book. I'm already five hours in because <laughs> I listen on 2.5 times speed? 2.3? I don't remember. I love how Audible though is like letting you choose what speed you want like really specifically so I've been loving that. Anyway I'm going to go do something so I will talk to y'all later. <laughs> Everyone, happy Saturday. I'm sorry I did not update at all yesterday. This was the beautiful picture that I took yesterday. Uh, yesterday I stayed up until like 3 a.m. listening to A Court of Mist and Fury. <laughs> it's been so long since I've read this book and listened to this book. I used to listen to this book like over and over and over again to help me fall asleep in like high school and freshman year of college like that's what all I would listen to was this book I love it so much chapter 55 just happened and I like listened to it like three times I just re listened to chapter 55 over and over and over and over again <laughs> I love it a lot I have two hours left in the audiobook also okay y'all know my sticky note system back there I told y'all about that I'm changing it up a little bit so I decided to make cards for the system now so basically if you didn't know I have one side of this cabinet is my daily things I need to do and then I move it over to the other side when it is 
completed so I really want like this side to be empty at the end of the day and this side to be full by the end of the day which I'm not gonna be using those anymore I'm probably gonna be putting it on this wall next to me now I made little cards here's my completed and my to do today and then I made cards and my mom went and got them laminated for me today so thank you so much mom I made little cards here's my clean the litter box <laughs> I have read 50 pages just like little things like that like here's my um make bed one i have a bunch of those that i'm gonna be putting up here i still have to cut out a few that are laminated so that's what i've been doing while i've been listening to the rest of akamath but anyways i will check back in when i have more of an update hello um it is later in the day i have read some i have listened to an audiobook but i can't tell you what it is because it's for a different video it's not for this reading vlog i'll tell you what i did personally today besides reading i actually made homemade peanut butter cups which my dad really likes but i'm not a big coconut person and they're very coconutty not really my cup of tea when it comes to a peanut butter cup reese's is like the ultimate 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 thing for me like reese's are my favorite thing in the entire world to eat if it did not taste like coconut it would be so good i was wondering why i had to put so much coconut into this recipe that i found and i was like mm, is this gonna taste like coconut since i put so much coconut oil into it it did <laughs> which they're not bad or anything they taste good it's just I'm just not a coconut fan, which I probably should have used a different recipe, but like I wasn't thinking at the time, but um, my parents have some peanut butter cups they can eat. I have been doing something that people will probably find really crazy. <laughs> so basically I have, I'll show you, I have to lift you up. I have this box of sequins my mom had um, growing up. When I was growing up, she had this box of sequins and I loved them. And she ended up like giving it to me, not like giving it to me, but like I keep it in my room because I'm the crafty person of the family. So I keep all the craft stuff kind of in my room. And so we have this giant box of sequins, as you can see. And a bunch of them fell into this bucket full of other craft bead things. And so I have been sorting them today. <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of like not that appealing to some people but I actually love sorting stuff I'm a big puzzle person and just like sorting gives me so much joy <laughs> so I've been listening to an audiobook and sorting sequins that have fallen <laughs> I finished Akamath and uh, loved it I am in love with it um, I cannot wait to start the next book next week I've only read Akawar I think twice and it was back to back like, I finished it the first time and then I restarted it. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. Um, it's a little bit later in the day, it's around 7 o'clock. And I decided to start Theirs for the Night by Katie Roberts. I love her Wicked Villain series. I've heard a lot of great things about this novel. This is around 86 pages, I want to say. So I'm probably going to finish it by the end of the night. I believe this is a romance between a girl... And it's her like birthday and when she goes to a club that night she ends up meeting two guys on the dance floor and they end up like inviting her back to their place and things happen with them i want to say maybe one of them's a prince and one of them's a bodyguard if i'm not mistaken i think someone said something about that i don't know i didn't actually read the summary before going in i am really enjoying it so far i love katie roberts writing style she's absolutely amazing at what she does um she really makes you believe these relationships and believe what the characters are feeling and I love that. I am probably going to try to read all of Katie Roberts' backlist. People have been saying that they absolutely adore it and love it so I'm very excited for that. Okay so I'm editing a video currently that will probably go up on Saturday. Fingers crossed that it goes up on Saturday because I still have to read two more books for that video but it's like my secret TBR video thing. It's not really a secret it's just it's not really like a big thing i'm rereading old books and making a video about it um so that will be on saturday I, and i finished one of the books for that video today and oh my word <laughs> that book um you'll see my thoughts for it when the video goes up but that's what i've been mainly listening to today is the book for that video man did that book leave me like on a roller coaster of emotions and i forgot what happened in that book and just like oh you'll see my thoughts when the video comes up but anyway i'm going to get to editing my saturday video and i'm going to be reading this book and so i'll chat with y'all later hey y'all it's the end of the night it's about to hit midnight uh so that's the end of this weekly reading vlog this reading vlog didn't really have all that much reading in it and i'm sorry <laughs> it's just been 
kind of difficult for me to read uh, physically at the moment because I have no motivation to do so honestly because <laughs> I've mainly been just reading ebooks and listening to audiobooks while I'm doing other things I don't know I just feel less productive when I'm reading a book physically does, does that make sense to anyone anyway um so for my wrap up for this week I finished my reread for A Court of Missing Fury by Sarah J Mass. I of course gave it five out of five stars absolutely love this book one of the best books ever that I've ever read. I love it and no one can change my mind about it and about this series and I can't wait to start A Court of Wings and Ruin. Hopefully I think tomorrow because Melissa and I will be rereading that book next week. I read There's for the Night by Katie Robert. I finished it today. I am I think giving this one four out of five stars. I really liked it. I kind of wish that it was longer than a novella but I know that it like turns into like an actual series after the novella but people have been telling me or I've been looking at people's reviews and they've said that the actual series isn't as good as the novella so I'm kind of hesitant to continue on with the series so we'll see about that but I ended up really enjoying this and I really liked the three characters dynamic together. This book really reminds me of Sarah Simone's series. I think the first book is called American Gods. I can't remember but it reminds me of that but in that book series he's not a prince he's the president of the United States and then the other love interest is his vice president. In There's for the Night it's a prince and the bodyguard of the prince. I like There's for the Night's dynamic way more I think but I really enjoyed this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to continue on with this series though, so let me know down below if you've read this series and what you thought of it. And then I read 50% of Claimed by the Alien King, I believe that's the title of it. Here's the picture and the author. I cannot remember at the moment. I've already returned it from Kindle Unlimited. It's just an alien romance book that just like downhill for me. There was like weird things with consent in here. Sorry if the lighting just changed. Um, one of my lights just cut out. Anyway, um... Tennis is getting ready for bed. <laughs> I just, I wasn't feeling this book. There was just issues with it. Not really interesting once the couple got together at like 50% of the way through. I was like, what's the point in this book? Anyway, not really my cup of tea. I don't really recommend it. So there you have it. That is the end of this weekly reading vlog. Uh, thanks for watching this very uneventful reading vlog. <laughs> but anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye.